So last week I took off for my last ski fling to Squaw Valley. I've been planning it for a month and it's my last chance to ski this year because I have such a busy April. I was so excited and Mother Nature cooperated and was bringing in four feet of cold fluffy powder. Such a rare occasion for Squaw. So I got there on Monday and Tuesday it was blowing so hard they couldn't even open the mountain. 150 mile an hour winds three feet of champagne powder, something we rarely see here in California. I was so excited. Wednesday morning I got up and I didn't feel good. I had a sore throat and I ached all over, but I had planned to go ski and there was three feet of fresh waiting for me. So I got myself dressed and I took off up the hill and I jumped off the lift and kind of took a little back way that nobody knows but the locals and I found this beautiful stash of powder. I headed down it and it's thigh deep perfect. I finished that run and I went inside and quit. I felt so bad. My body simply didn't have the aggression it took for me to ski that stuff and unlike my normal approach and my goal-oriented self, I changed my plan. And that's a rarity because usually I am so focused on the goal, I go for the goal no matter what. And if that means my body gets hurt in the process, so be it because I'm going to meet that goal. Well, I changed this week. I changed my plan. I changed my goal. I ended up staying in that lodge and working on my new website for three days solid. I did one run in four feet of fresh powder. My friends who know me are all astounded. A, because I didn't ski being the ski bunny I am, and B, because I actually listened to the feedback and changed my plan. Now, that got me thinking. How many times does the same thing happen in business? We humans are goal-oriented in nature. We create a plan, whether it's for a new product, a new event, some new partnership, a new process, a new program, it doesn't matter. We create this plan and we put it into action and we follow it no matter what. We get so focused on the goals associated with that plan that we may not listen to the feedback in the market that says those goals are wrong, the plan's wrong. We'll continue to follow that plan, meet those deliverables, check those boxes, because that's our nature. But here's a question for you. If the plan calls for us to go to the left and all of our audience is on the right, what does that mean? And if we successfully implement that plan, meet those deliverables, meet all those goals, and we go to the right, and all our customers are on the left, are we successful? Think about it.